today on 45 TV. Big Slick Willie versus Wildcat. Plus, in our main event, number one contendership on the line, Nick Nelson versus Super Thunderfrog. Trust the pros of taking care of your toys at Trucks and Toys. No matter the number of wheels, we make sure your toys are in top running condition. Our full service garage is equipped for any job, from tune-ups to customization. Not in stock? We can get it to you the very next day. Winter got you down? Let Trucks and Toys take care of all of your snowplow needs. Moving or in need of storage? We've got you covered with authorized U-Haul, indoor and outdoor storage available year-round. Trucks and Toys, taking care of all of your toys so you can take care of having fun. Being ready for the hunt is key for a successful outdoor experience. Hair Trigger Gun Shop has all your hunting needs met from ammo to camo. Whether fowl or mammal, Hair Trigger will make sure you are prepared for your next big adventure. Make sure your firearms are ready by scheduling an appointment with our expert gunsmiths. Check us out online or call us today. Hair Trigger Gun Shop, your first stop on your next big adventure. RVS Performance specializes in aftermarket accessories, parts, and performance tuning on ATVs and side-by-sides. With over 20 years of experience, RVS Performance has the knowledge necessary to handle everything from basic tunings to custom cages and bumpers. Check us out online at rvsperformance.com or stop by our North Branch location today. You think that Big Slick Willie has an easy night tonight? Wrestling with the kitty cat? It's no easy task, let me tell you. You're in for a battle with this kid. Oh man, that is a nice run. <laughs> what is that? Is that causing causing that come? That's Cats do love rugs. Beeline getting distracted with that. Oh, yeah, that is pretty he cute. I think he really likes it. Hey, 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 hey! I'm scratch it though. This is an expensive run, don't you claw that? No, no, bad kitty, go, hey! Don't if it do were that. my cat, Tinkerbell, no. I'd be upset as hey. well. No, no, hey, hey, no, I don't think he's hey. meant to claw it either. No, that's an expensive run. No, no, stop it! I just get him, get him, get him! Oh, come bad on! Kitty. Bad kitty! This bad is uncalled kitty. for. Come on, ref, get in there! Yeah, make a stop. Come on. Well, this was just supposed to be a talk show segment where we could get thoughts and maybe some outrageous rhetoric. Just like every daytime talk show, it ends with a fight. So you you called it. Are we, we going to have a match now, or what? Ruff wants us to ring the bell. bell. Here it is, Big Slick Willie versus Wildcat. One-on-one -on -one contest out of a talk show. That's how things happen in AWF. A match can happen just in a snap. That's why I like it. Wildcat kind of wondering where the rug went, probably. Look at Nick Nelson lurking at ringside. Normally it's Big Slick Willie watching the back of Nick the Natural Nelson. Forearm from the big man. Willie sending a feline in to the turnbuckle. There's a hard forearm right to the Wildcat. Nick the Natural Nelson. Oh, now watch where he point that. Watch where he point that. Pointing that riding crop toward me. And Put an eye out. Hope he doesn't have any ideas with that sort of thing. I hope not. Wildcat in his own right, former American Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion, and I cannot recall the last one-on-one -on -one bout he's participated in, normally with the Thunder Frog, the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo, taking tag team wrestling by storm, both here in the AWF and across the United States of America. I wonder where, where Super Thunder Frog is. Usually they're attached to the hip. Well, it's from the galaxies. It takes a little while to get here, doesn't it? it could, there could be some galactic traffic. Sounds like you can name a good 80s band. Look at this arm bar, indeed, good point. Arm bar applied, but the rope's being yeah, reached rope by Big Slick Willie. These fans in Richfield love Wildcat. Yeah, cat fever, cat scratch fever. Big Slick Willie being pushed into the turnbuckle by the prime fighting feline, the Wildcat from the north woods of Minnesota. Speaking of northern Minnesota, you could hear that chop. Wraps all the way up in Bagley. 
Man, and the cat scratch. You think what the carpet felt? Well, Big Slick Willie sure as heck just felt it as well. And now his back feels it, that Big Slick back. Nelson trying to protest that it's illegal. Suppose he has to call the count of five, right? I guess I'm not entirely sure how that rule is going to be applied here. Ooh, ducks the chops. Gunshot or open hand right from Slick Willie? What was that? That could be it for Cat. That's what that could be. Cat might be done after that kind of chop. Big Slick's got Cat up. This is an effortless body slam right now. And he's got him down. What is he thinking now? Big Slick Willie, this would be definitely the biggest victory of his young career. Two count only. A cocky cover. Maybe if he would have covered him just a second earlier. Oh, now he's going to argue with the referee. That's... Probably misguided. Probably learned it from Nick Nelson. Look at that cartwheel out of the Irish whip with a low kick. Wow, that hard. Bonafide ring general, the maestro cradle could end things one, two. Wildcat can certainly come at you from any number of directions, going for a small package that time. Look Big Slick string. Willie puts on the brakes, yes, with that strength. Ooh, what a suplex by Big Slick. Big, impactful maneuver indeed. And Nick Nelson approves that. Now this is where the inexperience comes into play for Big Slick Willie and where Nick Nelson should be providing better advice. He was clearly in the ropes. Big Slick did not have a chance of pinning Wildcat there. It's tough enough to pin the Wildcat in the middle of the ring. You're sure as heck not going to get that done near the ropes. Set for the ride. Here comes the Wildcat into the waiting arms of Big Slick Willie with that backbreaker. A cat could be broken. House broken? Just bro no, 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 just broken. You're right. Just you're broken. Right. Really no time for jokes with the extricating pain. Excruciating pain, oh, rather. It's hard to watch. If I could get my synonyms right. Cat stole some life. Here he comes. Ooh, going back to the chops. Knife edge chops of his own from the Wildcat connecting with Big Slick. Will you appears looking at his facial appearance to be laughing them off. I think he's getting angry. He better be in it. He, this could be out. One, two, two count only. Folks, quick break here on 45 TV. This match continues. Don't let a broken car break your wallet. Get affordable car repair service at Precision Tune Auto Care in Elk River, Minnesota. From brake repair to oil changes, pretty much any car problem you have, we can fix it. We've shopped the competition, but our rates are as low as they get. Plus, we have online specials for even lower prices. So if you've got a car problem, we've got the solution. Located at 18850 Dodge Street in Elk River, Minnesota, next to Perkins and the Academy. Precision Tune Auto Care. You may know us here at Top of Truck as the folks who buy, sell, trade, and repair pickup toppers. But we've also been outfitting pickup trucks and SUVs with quality accessories at great prices for over a decade. On sale now at Top of Truck. These 5-inch stainless steel oval step bars, lifetime warranty for only $2.99. Also, new fiberglass ranch toppers painted to match starting at $9.99. Visit us in beautiful East Bethel, Minnesota, or online at topatruck.com. Top of Truck, your pickup truck and SUV outfitter. Are your old electronics or appliances taking up space? B&E Recycling has you covered. B&E will buy your aluminum, cans, copper, brass, wire, stainless, and radiators. They accept batteries, tin, scrap steel, and scrap iron. Even miscellaneous items from fluorescent bulbs to cardboard. B&E will dispose of your old appliances and electronics. Visit B&E online today for the latest rates and online exclusive coupons. B&E Recycling, Highway 10, Elk River. Family owned and operated since 1955, Larson Cycle is the region's largest power sports dealer, carrying the latest from Honda, Suzuki, KTM, and more. Mike and the crew are happy to help you find the perfect recreational vehicle or keep you running right with a variety of parts and services. Asphalt, dirt, off-road, and more. Larson Cycle has you covered. Visit Larson Cycle online at larsoncycle.com or stop by today. Larson Cycle, Minnesota's low price leader, located in Cambridge, Minnesota. And we're back. Here comes the wild cat. Big slick Willie ducks underneath that kick. Crucifix, maybe. Wildcat to it. On the big man's shoulders. Big slick getting out of that. This looks very, very precarious. 
for the prime fighting feline, the Wildcats. Well, out of it. A spin wheel kick connects from the Wildcat who uses that martial arts technique every now and again. This could be it. Planted him. Big six in a bad place. Meanwhile, Wildcat signaling to that near turnbuckle. That kitty's gonna fly. Ascending. You know he's gonna go right to the top rope. The chance of meow, meow, meow. Echo throughout the Richfield Come auditorium. on, Nick Nelson. Nelson's on the top rope. He's got that riding prop. He's trying to distract him. The cat is being distracted by that riding prop. He is a cat. Cats are easily distracted. Thinks it's a toy. Come on. Oh no. Into the waiting arms of Big Slick Willie. Oh, what a slam. Last time here it was a mouse. That time a riding prop. And that's it. Wildcats out. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this bout, Big Slick Willie. Well, you talk about unfortunate series of events. Well, Wildcats sure as heck experienced one as we look at the replay. That distraction from Nick Nelson, that riding crap, was enough to lure the attention of the Wildcat away from delivering a high impact maneuver. Wild Wildcat was an place. inch away from winning. He was so close. This has to be Big Slick's biggest win of his career. And Big Slick Willie, I suppose, trying to impress again his boss, the man who signs his secondary checks. I don't know if they're bigger than the ones that you signed for competing in the AWF. But all, all I know is it looks like there's no trouble in paradise now. It appears that's the case. Nick Nelson, though, still your former champion, but tonight it's Big Slick Willie on the winning end of things with a huge victory over the Wildcat. Well, mark your calendars, wrestling fans, in southeastern Minnesota as the American Wrestling Federation returns to Stewartville, Minnesota, Saturday night, March 9th. Now, Tony, I can't wait for this one because history will be made. We're going to be crowning a new champion here in the AWF, the first ever AWF television champion. Tony, I think we got a tournament cooking. I am so excited. The first time a TV title, AWF, Who's going to get it? Who's going to get the gold around their waist? I think this is going to be absolutely crazy. I can't wait. Let's do this thing. Single elimination tournament at Stewartville High School, Saturday, March 9th. More information, proawf.com. Find us on Facebook. But we want to see you in Stewartville, March 9th. Udo loves cars. And he loves car parts. So he loves Asante Auto Parts. They have a huge selection. Come on. Come on. They got engines, radiators, all kinds of tires, transmissions, whatever those things are, kind of new stock, a centigrade top down to your junk car. Main Street Music and Electronics has been the premier one-stop music shop in Elk River for more than 30 years. We buy, sell, trade, and rent guitars, amps, drums, orchestral and band instruments, keyboards, sheet music, pro audio, and DJ equipment. Quality band instrument rentals start at just $8 per month with free maintenance. You can schedule private lessons with one of our qualified instructors. We even repair your instruments, amplifiers, TVs, and other electronics on site. So stop in today and see why. East Central Sports is your one-stop shop for ATVs, dirt bikes, UTVs, go-karts, and snowmobiles, all starting as low as $499. We offer free delivery and 12-month interest-free financing to make purchasing easy and affordable. Check us out at eastcentralsports.com or stop by our North Branch, Minnesota location today. Hi, my name is Dan Gould. I personally guarantee that you will not find a better diamond engagement ring at a better price anywhere else. Please stop by and let me prove it to you at downtown Anoka on 2nd Main right next to Jensen. Thunder Frog has to be in this ring to compete against me for the number.
number one contendership. And guess what? He is nowhere to be seen. For some reason, doesn't want to face me tonight. He's a coward, obviously. So, Rev, come here, do your job, count to ten, and raise my hand. Tony Danucci here. Are you having credit problems? Not anymore. Here at Brandle Motors, we guarantee credit approval in a new or newer car. No matter what the temperature, it's always 70 year round on our show floor and it's a huge inventory. I guarantee your loan will be approved, so stop by our little fall store and check us out or go to BrandleMotors.com and tell them Tony sent you. Play It Again Sports, where you'll find the best in new and used sporting goods. Serving Elk River for 19 years, Play It Again Sports is locally owned and open seven days a week. We'll buy your used gear or trade it in for new equipment. It's that time of year and hockey equipment is arriving daily. We have hundreds of sticks in stock. We also carry snowboards, cross country, and downhill skis. We sell equipment for all seasons. When it comes to my sporting good needs, I go to Play It Again Sports, where the prices are right and the help is great. Located off Highway 169 in Elk River. I just love coming to Minnesota Equipment. You walk through these doors and it's just truly amazing. With the gator, the tractors, the excavator, the skid steer, and all those small power tool equipment that Minnesota Equipment provides, this farm would not function. I decided on Minnesota Equipment for three reasons. The honesty of the sales force, the quality of the machinery, and lastly, service. John Deere is very reliable, and the service at Minnesota Equipment is very personal. John Deere has a piece of equipment for every need on our farm, and Minnesota Equipment is always there to support us when we need it. In a time of uncertainty when you need protection, remember Insurance Man. He'll answer the call. From Auto Home Health and Life, he is ever vigilant. Insurance Man is Ben Bauman, an ordinary citizen with extraordinary abilities. He is your protector, ensuring everything, including peace of mind. And he never wears a mask. Remember his signal. North Central Insurance and Ben Bauman Insurance Man. We've got you covered. Well, Nick Nelson thought he was going to get the night off, but Super Thunder Frog appearing. There may have been, as you said, Petey, some galactic traffic. Actually, heard from Super Thunder Frog uh, is Hammer. That's what was holding the him up. The Hammer was holding him At up. At Galactic Customs. Fireman's carry here into an airplane spin from Super Thunder Frog, who didn't even give the ring announcer enough time to introduce him. Well, hell, Nick Nelson didn't either, so who really cares? Oh, oh, is he up? Is he up? Oh, he almost threw up there. Oh, man. Nelson's dizzier than a red bird circling around a urban light pole, I believe. Would be the correct analogy there. Thunderfrog lighting up Nick Nelson. I love to see this. One more. Wherever we go with the AWF, whether it be our home base here of Richfield or elsewhere, Super Thunderfrog, one of the most popular competitors anywhere. And he is in there fighting for, did I hear this is for the number one contendership, BD? This is for the number one contendership for a future title match. Nick Nelson wants his title match. His opportunity to earn it. Cannonball from the Frog. Big splash. What's Froggy gonna do now? First rope. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Nick Nelson, we need to know, still has his jacket on. Look at that. One, two, two count only. Again, coming to you from the legendary Richfield American Legion Auditorium, DJ Draper in downtown PD Brown, AWF Action 45 TV. 
Super Thunder Frog taking on Nick the Natural Nelson, who finally is able, with the assistance of his bodyguard, Big Slick Willie, to get that ring jacket off. And he's now on a table. Oh man, I love to see oh, no. this. Froggy. Off the ring apron with that cannon. Oh my goodness! Frog is all over Nelson right now. I don't know if Frog's bull, but he just treated him like he was the 10 pin standing. Strike. Well, spare is what would be the correct analogy there if we're going to get into the minutia, but who really cares? If I would call it, that would be a strike. That was perfect to me. Thunder Frog smashing the face of Nick Nelson right into that table. And Nick Nelson trying to run away right now. Oh. Well, wouldn't be the first time Nelson's ever done that in his life. Chopping the taste out of his mouth. Knife edge chop from the Froggy. And Slick Willie only able to look on right now. Open Ooh. hand right, ouch. That'll leave a mark tomorrow. May develop in six to eight minutes, if not sooner. Going all over. Super Thunderfrog needs to get him back in the ring, though, if he wants to get this win. Well, certainly right. But right now, content to punish the former heavyweight champion. As the kitty on the outside of the ring, egging on his tag team partner as part of the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo. These ADOF fans are loving Super Thunderfrog. He might have been late, but right, he's right here, right on time. Nick Nelson's paying the price. He's got him by his nose. Oh, man. To the sternum, that power. Just, whoa. Nick Nelson is in a world of hurt right now. Thunderfrog getting Nick Nelson perhaps back into the squared circle. Maybe not. I think it's a little bit, it's, it's a little bit of great karma. Waist What's he lock? doing here? Waist lock from the ring apron. Nick Nelson, what in the hell's happening right Why now? Why is he grabbing the rep? Oh, and a low blow. Maybe not the oldest trick in the book, but it's been around a long damn Whoa. time. Oh my God! They just broke that table. DJ I'm in shock that happened just right next to us. Frog, frog does okay. not look good. Hope the frog's all right. He died. Rob kept checking on him. Either way, the ref has to do his job. He's counting to 10. Oh, that squirt bottle! Oh! That squirt bottle to the Wildcat. Wildcat desperate to avoid it. I think I, think I got sprayed on that one. Oh, man. Can Frog answer the 10 count? I don't know, He's and shaking. Wildcat isn't able to help him because that squirt bottle from Slick Willie. Also an impatient inside the ring. Thunder Frog is getting energy from the crowd. These fans here at Richfield love the Frog PD. Will he get in the ring? His legs are locking up, he's in! There he goes. Thank goodness our board didn't get fried because of a was certain a announcer time. having a barley pop here at ringside. Knife edge chop from the frog. Repeated shots from Super Thunder Frog. He's fired up. Polo hammer. Nelson's shutting him down. Nelson wants that title back bad. You know how upset he is at UPD for not just letting him have a return match? The AW fans want to see a new matchup. And frankly, Nick Nelson needs to earn something around here. It's a very, very fair point. He has accomplished much of what he has been able to with the assistance of Big Slick Willie on the outside of the ring and other nefarious means. So a challenge like Super Thunderfrog isn't necessarily all that unreasonable in my point of view. If Nick Nelson wants to complain, he shouldn't. Right now, if he wins this match, he gets his title shot. Nelson in control, sends the frog near side turnbuckle. Ooh! Frog 
gets the feet up. Kicks his jaw. The amphibian, oh, Owen in that full Nelson slam. Just oh. out. That's it. That has to be it. Nick no Nelson one. will be your number one contender that for his squash. old title. But he took too long, Petey. What? Nick Nelson took entirely too long to reach that pinning combination. Well, I'm not complaining. Frogsome found it some way inside his amphibious body to pull out a kick out. Wildcat getting these fans all sorts of fired up, many of whom are on their feet right now. That full Nelson again. First time wasn't successful. Maybe the second will be for the former champ. Now he's trying to put him to sleep. Wild, or, I'm sorry, the Thunder Frog fighting out of this though. Using every ounce in that amphibious being. He's feeding out the crowd's energy. He's gotta break those hands. Once he can get those hands broke, it's home free. But until then, it's a struggle, and there he goes. He got out. Nelson's up. Ooh. Atomic drop. That's going to hurt your bum. Inverted atomic drop. That'll hurt something else, maybe? Still probably your bum. Another one? Atomic drop conventional style number two. Power bomb. One. Two, three, no, two can only. I thought that was it. Well, Nick Nelson might have kicked out, but he's not gonna be able to sit right for a week. Could be the case. I don't know if they have accommodations at Perkins or wherever else they might have in Baldwin Hills. Might need an extra pillow while he's sitting down. And big slick Willie to the Come apron. Come on. I'm getting really sick and tired of this, PD. Whoa. Come on, Frog. The story has been told so many times, and now Willie's in the ring. What the hell is this about? This, the referee should not be allowing this to take place. And the Thunder Frog. I'm sorry, Wildcat. The Wildcat. Wildcat's up. Wildcat connecting with a cross body lock to Big Slick Willie, who's been rendered ineffective completely. Roll up. Nelson's shoulders are down, and that's three. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this bout, and the new number one contender for the AWF Heavyweight Championship, Super Thunderfrog. It was a singles match, but what a great show of teamwork by the Minnesota Wrecking Zoo. And what a lousy show of teamwork from Nelson and Willie, that tandem. It looked like they were on the same page earlier tonight, but... And something just went awry, not expecting the Wildcats to get involved from the top rope as it's a party now. The victory party can commence with the Wrecking Zoo, the Frog, the Cat. It's a Saturday night party. Pity party can get behind this. Fans here in Richfield jumping all over the place as Thunder Frog hops his way to a number one contendership. We've got two party poopers Meanwhile, in the ring with Nick yeah. Nelson and <laughs> Big Slick Willie. I thought they were on the same page. I guess not. Nelson's hot. Nelson thought this was in the bag. Yeah, Culpo here from, from Big Slick Willie. No! Nelson! Nelson just brushed off the bodyguard. Lost fair and square, man. Fair and square, though the circumstances were a little bit unorthodox, I'd say, but now Caused by Nelson. we have Big Slick Willie and Nick the Natural Nelson exiting separate doors. I don't know what this means for their professional relationship going forward. Nonetheless, I can't wait to see Super Thunderfrog get that title bout. Me too. He's going to be. JDX is a great champion. Super Thunderfrog would be a great champion. I'm okay, whoever wins. 